Hello everyone, how are you? And today we're going to look at math skills. Doing science needs a lot of maths, and we're going to start right from the very beginning looking at these. You will know them already, some of these skills, but practice does make perfect, of course. We're going to start by looking at the very simplest concepts, the basic ideas behind maths. These are the five basic mathematical operations. Now, of course, you know these, but what are their English names? Here on the right, you can see the abstract nouns for these five mathematical operations. But where do they go? Just have a quick think about that. And they go here. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and equality. Those are the five basic mathematical operations. So we're going to start with equality, and every equation is built around an equality. There it is, and this is a very simple equation. 25 equals 25. Of course, a number equals itself. But we can say different things to describe this equation. 25 equals 25. 25 is equal to 25 and 25 is the same as 25. Now, we often say these. In maths, we almost always use one of the first two, some form of the word equals, to describe an equality, which is at the heart of every equation. Addition. Addition is putting two or more numbers together. So, for example, we can say that two add two equals four, 6 add 7 add 9 equals 22 or 215 add 63 equals 278 and as with equality we can say this in different ways you might also hear 2 plus 2 equals 4 or the sum of 2 and 2 is 4 or the total of 2 and 2 is 4 Subtraction is the opposite of addition. It is taking numbers away from one another, taking one or more numbers away from another number. So, for example, 3 subtract 2 equals 1. So you start with 3 and you take away 2, you end up with 1. 20 subtract 4 subtract 7 equals 9. And then this one's a bit strange. 15 subtract 18 equals minus 3. Minus is below 0. But you can see we use the subtract sign again just to talk about numbers below 0. So we can say that 3 subtract 2 equals 1. We can also say 3 minus 2 equals 1 using that word minus. Or 3 take away 2 equals 1. Multiplication. So multiplication basically is putting together groups of numbers. Groups of numbers. And for example, we can say that 3 multiplied by 2 equals 6, 11 multiplied by 5 equals 55, or 234 multiplied by 756 equals 176,904. So we can say this in different ways, of course. We can say 3 multiplied by 2 equals 6, 3 times 2 equals 6, or we sometimes say the product of 3 and 2 is 6. And putting together groups of numbers, you can see this visually. There is a group of 2, 2 orange balls. There is another group of 2 orange balls. And there is a third group of 2 orange balls. So there we have three groups of two orange balls. How many orange balls do we have? Well, we have six. Three times two is six. Or, if you prefer, two times three is six. You put all the ones together, you've got three of those. Put all the twos together, you've got three of those. And the opposite of multiplication is division. Division is cutting a number into two or more equal parts, basically. So, for example, we can say 12 divided by 3 equals 4, and you can see that we can write this in 
three different ways, but they all mean the same thing. They are all ways of writing out a division. And we can talk about them in different ways, of course, just like before. 12 divided by 3 equals 4. 12 divided into 3 equals 4. And sometimes you see the quotient. The quotient of 12 by 3 equals 4. This can be confusing. Sometimes people get the numbers backwards. Uh, but a quotient is basically like a fraction. So we've looked at the operations. Now let's look at the order of operations. And this is bod mass. Bod mass is an easy way to remember the order of mathematical operations. And that is the order, what comes first, what comes second, what comes third, what comes fourth, etc. So we start always with brackets. And these are brackets, and we will talk about those in a moment. But they are always first when we do maths. And second, we do orders. Now, these are not the same as the order of operations. These are powers or square roots, things that we do to a number to multiply or divide it by itself. And we will look at those in a moment too. But they come second. Then we go to the normal operations. Division, multiplication, which are at the same level and addition and subtraction, which are also at the same level. So when we do maths, we always start with the brackets and we always finish with subtraction. And also, when you use bod mass, you should always work from left to right. So let's look at the first thing on the bod mass list, brackets. So brackets, or parentheses sometimes called, divide up equations. They divide up equations. For example, here are two equations. One of them has a bracket in it. Otherwise, they look very similar. 3 multiplied by 4 minus 2. So usually, we would do multiplication before subtraction. But the brackets tell us to do this first. So if we look at the answers, on the left-hand side, we can see that 3 times 4 minus 2 equals 10. So 3 times 4 is 12, multiplication. And then 12 minus 2 is 10, that's subtraction. But on the right-hand side, first we must do the bracket. So we do 4 minus 2, that is 2. And then we do 3 times 2, which is 6. So we end up with two different answers just because of the brackets we put into that equation. Orders. Okay, so orders or exponents multiply a number by itself. It's really straightforward. So here we have 2 to the power of 2, and we use a little superscript to show the power. 2 to the power of 2 equals 4 because it is 2 times 2. Then we have 2 to the power of 3, which equals 8, because it is 2 times 2 times 2. 2 multiplied by itself 3 times. And then, of course, we can have 2 to the power of 4, which is 16. That is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. And you can do this with any number and raise it to any power. And these numbers get very, very big very, very quickly. So just quickly, let's talk about the first two powers, the second power and the third power, which are called the square and the cube of a number. So 2 to the power of 2 is also called 2 squared, and 2 to the power of 3 is also called 2 cubed. And we get this from geometry. We have a line there, that is 2. If we extend that line into a square, then we have 2 times 2, and that means we have four little 1 by 1 squares inside the big square there. And we can extend that again, so we have a cube, a 3D square, which is 2 by 2 by 2, which gives us 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 little 1 by 1 by 1 cubes to make up that space. 
So here's some bod mass questions for you to practice if you'd like. So we'll go quickly through the first one, which is, I'm afraid, the easiest one. So 8 times 9 minus 3 times 6 minus 2. Apply bod mass, brackets, no brackets, no orders, no division, multiplication. So 8 times 9 is 72, and 3 times 6 is 18. That's all the multiplication, no addition, subtraction. 72 minus 18 minus 2 is 52. So have a go with the rest of those if you'd like. And those are the very basic ideas of maths. In the next couple of maths videos, we'll look at a few more complex examples. Bye for now.